Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Morning Markets. Today, I wanted to build on that theme that we've been discussing over recent days and that of sovereign bond market volatility, along with changes in interest rates. Yesterday, it was the turn of the, the Bank of England here in the UK to give their um, decision on how they were going to change interest rates. And what did we get from, from the Bank of England yesterday? We, we heard that UK interest rates were going to increase 0.5%, taking interest rates from 1.75% to 2.25%. And that takes us back to interest rates at levels that we last saw in the UK in 2008. And whilst that change in interest rates was generally expected by the market, some had thought the bank might move 0.75%. One of the most interesting things I took away from the, the, the statement yesterday was really around how various different members of the Monetary Policy Committee had voted. And just to break that down, so five members of the committee voted for the 0.5% increase. Three members suggested that 075 was more appropriate. And then, quite interestingly, the newest member to the committee voted for an increase of 0.25%. And really, that highlights the, the divergence within the, the committee at this point in time. That divergence is maybe healthy in terms of the, the debate that was certainly going on around the table. But it's also, I think, important to highlight that maybe the market wants to see a more cohesive um, approach from, from the bank as well. So, so time will tell as to how that evolves over coming months in terms of that divergence in voting. I think the other thing to, to take away from the MPC yesterday was the discussion on inflation. Their expectation probably now is that inflation peaks around 11%. Cast your mind back um, a couple of months ago, it was closer to, to 13% that was suggested. The bank haven't fully updated their economic um, models and projections at this point in time. That will come um, later, probably in November. And the reason for that is today's fiscal announcement or mini budget from, from the government. The bank want to wait to hear the detail of that, incorporate that into their forecasts, and then update them at the time of November. I think the other thing from yesterday that's just worth commenting on that we touched on monetary policy in terms of how it impacts interest rates. Interest rates and interest rate differences also impact currencies and we've certainly talked about over the recent weeks and, and indeed months about the strength in the US dollar against nearly all other currencies and one currency that's certainly felt the brunt of that has been the Japanese yen and for the first time since 1988 um, we saw the, the Japanese Ministry of Finance intervening in the currency market yesterday to support the yen because it had got too weak um, for their for their expectations or where they feel comfortable. So again, one of those other consequences of this change in monetary policy that we're experiencing at this point in time. I touched earlier just on the, the MPC and they're waiting to hear um, from the government in terms of the, the fiscal announcements that we'll get today. Please do look out for our podcast later today and you'll get to hear ourselves discussing some of the, the implications of the budget um, for investors. So please do join us for that. Many thanks. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ICES and pensions. These are available in the video description below.